Yeah. Well, let's let's talk about the the double album you got coming out. It's Evan and Amber here on Taste the Country Nights. We got Cody Johnson. What's happening? You good? I'm good, man. This album kind of feels like a collection of of letters to to people close to you. What was the most emotional song for you to write or record on this album? So uh, that's a kind of a double answer. No mm-hmm. pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> but Human is probably uh, one of the most personal things I've ever recorded because that's me. That's me to my wife. Um, all the late nights, all the midnights, chasing all that empty, still ain't got it right. Uh, when it says, bless your heart for never trying to fix me, quit me, or slow me down, uh, she knew she married an outlaw. And I've tried very, very hard over the years to get closer to God, get closer to you know the, being a better man. Uh, but, you know, I, we've all got our problems, you know, and, like, I struggle daily just like everybody else with – bad habits or anxiety or my own, my own personal problems, you know? And I think that human, you know, these kids come up to my shows and I want to be just like you when I grow up. And I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm just as messed up as a lot of people. Like, you know, I'm human too. Don't look at the stage and think that guy's got something that nobody else does. The song till you can't, you, uh, you didn't write that one, but is there a lyric, a specific lyric in that one that really hit home for you that you were like, man, I got to do this one. I think it was the whole the whole message, man. I mean, you know, I've lost a friend this year. Um, I've had uh, almost very, and I'm being serious when I say this, we had a plane almost crash, a private plane. We were flying to a NASCAR event and uh, really sat there for about 30 minutes as the plane is going down with my wife. Like, this is it. You know, I love you. And I, I'm thinking about things I regret, thinking about things that I could have done. Why didn't, why did I tell my little girls I was too busy to get in the floor and play? You know, why didn't I make that phone call and apologize to that person? Why didn't I tell that person, hey, it's okay to be Christian and, and not be perfect? You know, like mm-hmm. all those opportunities that I didn't seize. And uh, even my wife, like, why, why, don't I, why don't I do these things? Why didn't I? And it st- started making me think until you can't. So wait, the, you, sorry, it was 30 minutes? It was a pretty rough deal. Oh, okay. Lots of alarms and lots of altitude loss and lots of. And who was on with you, your wife? My wife and my tour manager, Jackson, my road manager, Noe. And it, wow. was, a, it was a pretty, it was, it was the closest near-death experience I've had since riding bulls and working to prison. So it was, I never had that happen before. But so here's, here's, here's where the perspective changes after that. When I'm singing the song, it's like, take that phone call from your mama and just talk away because you never know how, you know, you, you how bad you want it. Well. What if it ain't mama? You know, we all think about grandpa going because he's grandpa, but we're not guaranteed the next minute, man. I could leave this studio and that would be it. This could, this very well could be the last one I ever do right here. And when you think about that, when you think about every day like that, you're like, what? It's till you can't, it's Mm -hmm. till you can't get up and do those things. It's not till they can't. Yeah. And that's, it's seize the day, you know, seize those opportunities. And we live in a world that's so divided by politics and so divided by race and so divided by everything you can come up with. Man, just love people. Mm-hmm. Just love people because you're not going to, you only get to do it so long. This ride only lasts so long, you know? And I think that that message, I've had people come up and say, you know, this is the, by the way, this is the first song that has been out for very little. Like it's not even on radio yet, really. We're not even going for ads yet. I can stop singing in the middle of a concert and they sing it, the whole thing. People come up at meet and greets and go, that song changed my life. And I'm like, that's bigger than a Cody Johnson single. That's bigger than in my album. That's something that was really special. When you stepped off that plane, what was the very first thing that you did? Was it like, I got to call my kids or, or like. No, I went to the hotel and stared at the wall for a couple hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we went from 39,000 feet to 15,000 feet and alarms went off and panels fell off the wall. And I said, what's going on? And the pilot said, we're going down. And I'm like, you mean we're taking it down? He's like, no, you need to prepare yourself. We're going down. And I'm like, it's one of the hardest things I've ever had to do is look my wife in the eye and be like, hey. This is how this happens. And it was a, it was a little bit of a perspective changer. <laughs> it yeah, took no me, joke, mm-hmm. dude. took me a while to get over that. <laughs> wow. Well, let's just happen? say, let's just say the next private flight I took about three months later, there was some Tito's involved. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. I was nervous. When was that? So, uh, it was about two and a half, three months ago. Wow. Yeah. Holy cow, man. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Uh, have you, or will you write a song about that, ex- that very specific experience? I, I think that, Till You Can't was mm-hmm. the song. I just yeah. didn't know it yet. You know, and I, and I, look, I mentioned God a lot. Don't, y'all don't think I'm a hypocrite out there. Cause I'm just like, I try my best. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I try my best. But like, I really think that that happened when it happened. There was a reasoning that I found out of that, like to change my perspective on that. And not just a song, but a lot of things in my life. I was like, okay, I needed that. I needed a little bit of a wake up call. 
because I thought I had it all figured out after 2020. I'm like, I got this. Me, right, me, so me, I was going to say, yeah. a lot of us probably thought after we're 2020. Back, baby. Right, right, right. Yeah. right. Like, no, yeah. wait a minute. You know, you're just a little pawn in the game. Just, just calm down, Cody. Um, now, let me ask you. You mentioned you were an outlaw, you know, a little bit of a hell raiser. Without getting too into it, what's what's the craziest thing like that you can remember? Like, give us a, like an old grandpa story. Man, I've uh, we, I've fought my way out of a few bars. I mean, <laughs> I used to ride bulls, and so it was pretty rough. Like, we would drive to a completely different town just because we got a phone call and somebody wanted to fight, and like I, I was I was not. I mean. I didn't. Uh, I, I was the guy that before my wife met me, I'd have multiple girlfriends and tell them about each other. And oh my god, I was not. A, I was not a great guy. And uh, you know, you go from riding bulls to getting in a van with a bunch of guys, and we all think we're Elvis. You know, it's just like a, you know how much ego you can fit in a twelve passenger van. I'd bet a lot. Uh -huh. <laughs> Like, so we're out doing it, you know. I mean, and we've had instances where even like in even when we move to the buses, you know, it's like we've been loading out and people start fights or we've had guns pulled and all kinds of like it, it, it's yeah. People say, uh, "What's it like playing honky tonks first instead of getting the record deal?" And I'm like, "It's rough. <laughs> it's, like, it's rough. It's it's exactly what it sounds like." <laughs> But thank God we are where we are now. There you go. <laughs> um, we want to real quick play the 60 second song challenge with you. Okay. Uh, it, we're going to play just a two second clip of a song and you just tell us what the next lyric is. Okay, do I need headphones for this? Yeah, yes. we got our scoreboard of yes. country stars that you have to beat here. Okay, so far in the lead, Michael Ray and Lainey Wilson both got 10. Okay? Okay. So now it's very high, high pressure. It's very fast paced. So if, if you don't know, just pass. But Are I'm we gonna, going just artist, or does that do I have to have? You the have artist to finish the, the lyric. No, no, no. Oh, finish, finish the, the lyric. lyric. Yeah, you yeah. don't have to sing it or anything. Just okay. you know. Now it's going to be very fast. So if you don't, just, it's moving. Yeah, if you don't okay. know it, just say pass, and we'll go to the next one. Okay. okay. All right, Billy, you ready to time it? Ready. All right, here we go. Go. Oh, wait, wait, wait! I wasn't ready. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. You ready? Ready. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Spend my dollar. Parking a holler underneath the mountain moonlight. Right on the other hand. There's a golden band. Don't, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. From a house that built me. Just to see you I'd do anything. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> feel better. Together. With my Dixieland of Light. <laughs> On my way to you. And I bless the day I met you. Can I curse the day I left you? Okay. So you're a rocket scientist. Don't impress me much. Do you love me? Do you want to be my friend? You got them all, man. <laughs> you shut it down. You got all 12. I felt good. I'm competitive, man. <laughs> I've never seen someone so in the zone. Like, I don't know if you blinked that entire time. You were ready to I go, I didn't breathe. Man. That was great, man. Well, make sure you pick up this double album and check out the movie available on all platforms. Yep, yep. And, uh, man, we really appreciate you coming and hanging out Thank with us. Thank you very much. Appreciate both of you. Yeah. That was fun. Dude, that was cool, man. You were so good at yeah. it. Take that. <laughs>